I hope. Uh, just to give a little bit of a prelim. Um, as everybody knows, we've got two children in the house, Rico and Torti. Um, they are cats, as you can see, and they shed a lot of hair inside the house. And um, Liza was always sweeping up and picking up the hair. So all in all, we decided that time has rather come to get a vacuum cleaner so that the cleaning of the home can be quite a bit easier. Okay, the discussion between myself and Liza came to the bag on the vacuum cleaner. Um, you get one with a cardboard uh, bag to catch up your, the, the dirt and stuff like that. And I actually said to her, no, we should get one that hasn't got a bag because it's just so much easier and more convenient. At the end of the day, we had a look-see and we decided on the Panasonic um, and we went to the shops, went, went and scaled around a bit first, price as you should always do, go from the one shop to the next shop to see which one's going to give you the better price. Right, let's see what's in the box. You land up in the box with all your accessories. You've got your, your pipe that connects your vacuum cleaner up onto all your other peripherals. You get extension pipes so you've got a longer reach while you're cleaning. You've got your cleaning head which actually does the sucking up of the floor. Um, it's got a brush on which actually gathers the dust and puts it into the suction head so that you can get it all sucked up into the vacuum cleaner itself. You've got a little brush. This brush you can use to clean keyboards and little items with which is quite handy. Then you've got a... Okay, I'm going to have to study on this one but I think it is to do with the end up of the, of the machine itself and then we've got a, a bend so let's call it the gooseneck we use straight pipes connecting to and you've got another little attachment that's attached to it uh, one and down I'll get it now but your attachments is all got to do with your pipes and your head of your vacuum cleaner and ladies and gents the most important your warranty you need to have your warranty stamped from the vendor that you're purchasing it from because these units comes with a two-year warranty so that if anything does go wrong you have got your warranty keep it in a safe place um, you never know when you're going to need it and then you've got an instruction manual it's always a handy thing to have. Okay, that's all the peripherals and all the paperwork gets out of out of hand. Um, we're going to take the vacuum cleaner out and we'll explain this. We need to get this all off the table and we can go to the vacuum cleaner. Okay, let's get to the vacuum cleaner. Quite a hefty unit. But not too, not too difficult to handle. This is your storage position. When you store your vacuum cleaner, you can store it into a small area. But that's not your working position. Oh, sorry about that. When you work with your vacuum cleaner, you put it down, connect up, and you can pull it around. It has got the big wheels over here, and then a swivel wheel which allows you to turn around and do what you need to do. As I said, this is your catchment for your dust. Um, it's got an indicator on, so as your dust fills up, you'll be able to see how much dust you've got in here. Uh, this is supposed to be two liters of dust, you can handle two liters of dust. Right, when you need to empty it, all you do is you pull the cartridge out, you've got a little brush here, 
that's installed this little brush will be you have to clean this filter unit yeah the only caution I've got with this unit is this little uh, adapter over here it can break um, a little bit you need to be cautious of it and you need to take care of it you see here's a little filter inside you need to wash that every now and again a good suggestion will be every time you take the filter out you just to wash that filter all the rest is all that's got to do with the machine itself okay locks into position again yeah you've got another little filter that you can take out you'll see this one's got a little it's a rougher filter so it'll allow more dust through where the filter inside yeah is of a smaller it allows lesser particles to go through your machine and it'll keep your bigger particles inside here yeah, and your finer particles your dust it'll just exit to the outside okay so as you said the cartridge just load it in load it down the socket it's got a little bit of a ratchet you pull it out and locks if you want to you know, get the core back in press the button and automatically pulls the cord in stores your your plug in a very safe place this is also another filter over here in this area which you can clean ever so often again there you are again you can take it out wash it clean it this is where your air to make your whole vacuum cleaner operate it'll suck your air through get all your dust here air passes through out of this filter and into the atmosphere good thing to keep that thing clean if you don't keep that one clean you're not going to get the through flow of air into your machine that you actually want and your machine's efficiency is going to go down because it's not going to have the sucking power as what it had so yes all in all i'm happy with the machine compact not very heavy easy to handle easy to store all the peripherals or with don't lose your brush and then you must lift it out it's got a little storage place inside here you can just put it back into its storage place there it is so as i said this filter rougher filter this one finer filter all these filters can get washed and at a later stage if your filters get to such a stage that they're really thoroughbred and they're not working anymore then you can replace them it shouldn't be a problem in replacing them again just fit your filter in it's all press fit there's no little hidden handles or little hidden things that you have to push press to get your filters in there it's done close that door just get that filter in there nicely closed load your cartridge and there you go connecting the pipe up over here forgot this one Liza reminded me to put it back so please don't do the same when you're cleaning your filters remember to put them back in the positions that they came in don't swap them around cartridge in okay to connect up your pipe this adapter that i spoke about you just slide it into position there it is and it's got a notch over here notch twist that's in the gooseneck that i spoke about there's your gooseneck same gooseneck done anybody that does work with a vacuum cleaner please don't pull a vacuum cleaner by the pipe because this pipe tears you're going to have to buy a new one your best bet is when you're working with a vacuum cleaner and you don't want to bend down you can push it with your foot it moves very easily but please refrain from pulling the vacuum cleaner on the pipe 
because this pipe will break. Okay, your adapters are all fit onto here. Uh, so he's really going to give me. There's this one there. That one fits on there. You get your other one. You can even come into closer. You can get that one in there. You can use it there. So yeah, all these units you can use wherever you want to use it. If you don't want to use the pipes, you can do that. Okay, you get the pipe off, it's got a bayonet fitting inside. You just anti-clockwise, twist it, pull it out. There you are, pipes out. Okay, the extension pipes as well. They will fit into each other and it extends it and that one will fit into there or that way around that will give you your extension where you are and then your vacuum cleaner pump fits in there there you are make the final locked in let's go there we are on the floor, no, the cable, you usually have 5 meter cable on you, which should give you quite a reach, but you might get yourself an extension and you can go anywhere in the house with it, let's give it a bash. Let's see the cats run away. Okay, everything's foot. Okay, the demo version of how to clean. I've done that, you want to roll the cord up, the button here, you depress it and it'll roll the cord up into the machine itself. You leave it, it stops. You just feed the wire into there and it'll pull it all in. There you are. And that's it. And let's say goodnight to all. God bless.